Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with a package. Oh, with a little, a little, uh, uh, just a, a supple little genteel white package from the folks at Urban EDC Supply. Matt, thank you so much. I'm so pumped. I kind of wish you didn't tell me what was in here, but you didn't. That's okay. And I'm so jacked either way, so let's bust her open. <laughs> That's right, Urban EDC Supply. Where is my F5.5? I need it. Urban EDC Supply, love them to death. Super amazing dudes, super amazing products. Uh, a long time ago, I unboxed and reviewed the Nessie. And I made some statements in that video. You know, I made some statements like, I, I, I would like it more if it was smaller. And this would be perfect if it had thumb studs. Well, guess what? See ya. This is the new, what's this called? Future me? Nessie Jr.? Mini Nessie? Micro Nessie? Mini Nessie? Oh, fuck. Future me, what's this called? I am so jacked. Interesting, uh, I think this is a prototype. Maybe. But we're gonna, oh, dude, I think it is a prototype. Look at this interesting, uh, like, faux carbon fiber pouch. Oh my god, it's adorable. Oh my god, it's adorable. Oh, dude, it's perfect! This is the new mini Nessie, micro Nessie, future me. Sorry, I'm dumb. It is the Nessie without a flipper tab and with thumb studs instead. And it is way smaller. Uh, here's the size comparison, F5.5. Smaller than that. Um, Mom? Hold on. Here we go. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Here is the Tactile Knife Co. Rock Wall. Smaller than that. And here is a Spider Co. Pair 3. Smaller than that. It's a little guy, but it's the same knife. So this is the Micarta version. Ooh, I like this. The stonewash kind of uh, tuxedo look here on the backside. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Very nice. Love the milled titanium clip. Super minimal hardware. Really big lanyard hole here. Nice jimping here towards the center of the blade. Really nice thumb studs with some texturing on there. Very good. Very good. Very good. So my card uh, blacked out everything. Stonewash titanium show side. Let's open it up. I'm so pumped. What? Oh, oh, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Thank you for listening. This is it. The mini Nessie, the micro Nessie, the baby Nessie. God, I'm so dumb that I can't remember what this is called. Real nice titanium backspacer here. Um, so visually, the Nessie re never really did it for me. But when they sent me one to review, it blew my mind. This blade, kind of wonky looking, is so good. This Nesmuk style blade. Is that how future me? Ness, Nesmuk? Ness? Hence the name, Nessie. Is, this is such a great blade shape for EDC. It's kind of hard to explain. Nice flat section, real aggressive belly, still a nice pointy tip. It just works. Real nice ergonomic lines. Kind of boxy, a little bit of chamfering going on. So Ergo's in hand, the baby Nessie. Yeah, feels great. The big one felt great. This feels great. Real nice jimping there. Thumb lands on that. That feels dynamite. Uh, we don't have a forward finger choil, but we do have a decent sharpening choil. So you can get right underneath there. Right about there as far as you're going to choke up with this one. But it feels good. Pinch grip? Oh, dude! All day. All day long. All day, every day. BK, you have it your way. Excellent, Ergos. Excellent. I'm obsessed with this, dude. I'm so happy this is real. Uh, action. First off, lockup is great. Solid. Real solid lockup on that. Centering. This is a prototype, but centering is a cashola, baby. So, action. So, we have thumb studs only. Thumb flick? Yeah. Feels great. Ooh, running on ceramic bearings. I believe these are made by Rayot, Future Me. Reverse flick, feels good and snappy. Decent detent. Not like aggressively too intense, but nice. Oh, oh, Matt, I don't, you can't have this one back, dude. Matt, you can't have this one back. Oh my God, oh my God. I actually leave for Chicago in the morning. Uh, I'll be back by the time this video airs, but still, 
This is coming with, Chief. I, it just is. It just is. Action's incredible. Love it. Uh, relatively thin blade stock, too. Uh, let's te test the old acoustics real quick. Kind of quiet. Muted. Uh. Access to the lock bar is fine. I'm just foolish. Yeah, decent. Decent acoustics. Nothing crazy. But a good sound. But we ought to cut something with it. I believe Future Me M390 on the blade steel here. DLC or PVD coated it looks like. I'm betting you she cuts. Because the big one cut like a dream. And I'm sure this is no different. So let me grab uh, the phone book. Let's see if she'll cut. I bet you she will. Zoom out in full effect. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Real nice tall flat grind. Not a hollow grind, but cuts great. Dynamite factory edge. <sighs> Again, this blade shape visually doesn't really do it for me, but in use, it is a whole different ball game. A whole different ball game. It's so nice. You get so much leverage behind your kind of pull cuts when you're cutting, or your, your push cuts when you're cutting down through cardboard. Something about this blade shape. It just works for me. I'm so excited about this. I will leave links to this down below whenever it's available. Pre-order, drop, whatever it is. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll talk about this on live streams. It's it's real. It's finally here. And it's a real thing. And I could not be happier about it. Matt, Urban EDC Supply, thank you guys so much for thinking of me and for sending this over. Uh, you're the best. Love you to death. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty freaking hot. I think the reverse, the clip side, looks so good. But so does the show side. It's like two totally different knives, but both look great. I got no, no complaints. None. I'm happy as a damn clam. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.